Argentina's Coast Guards escort a Chinese fishing ship towards a port in Patagonia. It's an operation by air and sea to control attempts by foreign vessels to fish illegally in Argentine waters. One shine, 801. Stop and shine, sir. Stop and shine. International ships are allowed to fish outside the economic exclusive zone. But in recent years, there's been a sharp increase in attempts to cross what is known as the Mile 200, where Argentine waters begin. Our sea platform is one of the richest in the world. So far this year, we have captured two ships already. We have a protocol, so the captain can act according to international law. Using radars and other types of communication, Argentina can track ships violating its exclusive zone. This type of vessels are the ones that are used to patrol Argentina's exclusive zone. If a ship is found to be fishing illegally in those waters, then that ship can be captured and the owners have to pay a fine. This vessel, for example, has been involved in several operations and it has the ships that it has captured in the past. It has the name, the date and the country it belonged to. Most of them belong to China and then Spain. Even though there are many companies from different countries involved in illegal fishing, China has become a main concern. With an overseas fleet of over 16,000 ships, they pose a major threat to developing countries. Just recently, around 300 ships were located outside the Galapagos Island. Such fishing is not illegal because it takes place in international waters, but it can cause damage in one of the richest and biodiverse regions in the world. In terms of the global governance structure, the international bodies, I mean, they can do a lot to put pressure on, on countries like China. But most nations do not want a conflict with China, leaving developing countries to defend their resources in whatever way they can. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.